Another example of the number of attempts is in an encryption system, uh, a brute force attack on a key chosen by a user. Let's say a user has chosen a random key, a 128-bit key, and an attacker is trying to guess that key. So what the attacker has to do, they need to guess that key. So how many possible keys do they need to guess from? With 128 bits, there are 2 to the power of 128 possible keys. So in the best case, the attacker chooses a key, and they're very, very lucky, and they get the key that the user chose. That would be the best case, and it takes one attempt. The worst case is that they try all keys, and it's only until the last key, that 2 to the power of 128th key, that they get the one that the user chose. The average case, the average number of attempts, is the number of possible keys divided by 2. 2 to the power of 128 divided by 2, which is simply 2 to the power of 127. So on average, that attacker, if the user chose a random key and the attacker knows nothing else about how they chose that key, it would take 2 to the power of 127 attempts to get the key. If we modify the case and the user instead chose a 129-bit key, that is, they increase the key length by just one bit. So in this case, the average number of attempts becomes, or that the, the key space is 2 to the power of 129. That's the total number of possible keys. And the average number of attempts will be 2 to the power of 129 divided by 2, or 2 to the power of 128. This illustrates by increasing the key length by just one bit, then we double the amount of attempts that the attacker must take to find the key. 